escaping through the forest, calls on his communicator for help. The users in the library respond and learn to use the card catalog to find information to help him. They examine subject, title, and author cards. Call numbers on the cards guide them to the book's location on the shelves. They learn of unfamiliar creatures, horses, and Colonel Holland sees one in the wild. Abacus looks in the card catalog to find information on Wiper's superstitions about horses, but the book she needs is at the base. Wait, what is this? These books are not in the proper order, Aphos. 635.96 comes after 635.93. Or have you forgotten numerical order? No, Varian, I have not forgotten numerical order. In fact, the order of these books is not my most urgent concern. My mind is on our base and our people's safety. Why do you think I am doing this? Do you think that I am not concerned with our people's safety? I'm sure that our concern is equal. That is why we are both impatient. What can we do? We can't communicate with the base. If we leave here, we could be captured by wipers. Father is still far from the library. We can't even contact our allies in the solar system. My only hope is that somewhere in this library, we can find some information which will help us defeat the wipers. Hey, folks, Apicus, this is your father, Colonel Holland. Father, are you all right? Yes, I am safe. But I have seen a strange, illusory image a universal being appeared to me. He gave me a strange printed document. The wizard. The same universal being who appeared to us with words to awaken Miss Bookhart. Please, Father, tell us what the document says. Perhaps we can discover the meaning as we did before. I will read it to you. Victory lies within the system that divides all that is into ten. Wait divides all that is into 10. The Dewey Decimal Classification System divides all knowledge into 10 main classes. Look at this. Each class has its own set of numbers. See, 0 through 99, general works, 100 through 199, philosophy, 200 through 299, religion, 300 through 399, social sciences. Numbers? Allow me to finish the remainder of the old one's words. R031 over W looks up and over. 133.44 over P tells the ruby's task. 291.13 over B recalls the memory's memory. R 352.6 over H digs deep your roots. 499.99 over A gives the ancient word. 551.576 over S screens your cavalier. 621.366 over C entwines the sign it sends. 774 over U mirrors victory's history. 822.33 over S 
quotes the king's familiar price. Your victory's requirement. 909.8 over B carries you to the bookend. To elide the buckler, these tomes offer succor. Do these words reveal anything to you? Not the words, but the numbers are Dewey Decimal Classification call numbers. Each number is a call number for a specific book. But these numbers have decimals. That's because there are more than 100 books in each classification. By adding decimal points to the whole numbers, Dewey increased infinitely the possible call numbers to use. Each call number is like an address, which shows you just where a particular book lives on the shelves. What about the letters in the call numbers? The letter is the first letter of the author's name. The number tells us the exact area of knowledge the book is about. But by alphabetizing according to the author's last name, we can keep track of many books about the same subject. Keep track? Father, are you still in contact? Have you heard Ms. Bookhart's words? Yes, I understand about the call numbers. Yet this still does not explain the meaning of the wizard's words. We have to find the books indicated by these call numbers. The wizard's words seem to tell us that somehow these books offer hope of victory over the wipers. Colonel Holland, are you safe? For now. Good. We need time to find the books here in the library and investigate all the clues carefully. There's not a minute to lose. I'm still far from your location. But I'm determined to make it there, despite the wipers and my injured foot. Let's examine those call numbers. You mean 621.366 over C, 774 over U, 822.3? How did you remember those numbers? The same way I remembered R031 over W. You mean you remember all the numbers? How is that possible after only hearing them once? All user memory is accessed by frequency. It's an automatic ability to retain numerals. This capacity forms the basis of all user thought. Well, then the Dewey Decimal System will be easy for you. Of course, humans are not as good at memorizing numbers. We rely on the logic of Melville Dewey's system. Melville Dewey? That's the name of the system's inventor. System? Well, let me show you how the system works. If we're going to find all the books in the wizard's message, you need to understand the Dewey Decimal System as quickly as possible. Look. I left these computer instructions here. Your pre-programmed instructions have proved very useful. Look at this. The 0 through 99 is a class described as general works. These are books about knowledge itself, like encyclopedias and books about libraries. When there's an R before the call number, that means it's a reference book. All the reference books are together in the reference section. What about the 100s? Books with numbers from 100 to 199 are books about philosophy. This class includes books about thinking, logic, and psychology. The 200s are next. What are they? The 200 through 299s are books about religion and mythology. Then the 300 class, books with numbers from 300 to 399. Social sciences. The 300s are books about social sciences, human society, education, economics, government, and statistics. 400 to 499 languages. The 400s are books about languages and how people speak. Then the 500s are for the class known as pure science. Books numbered 500 through 599 are books about physics, chemistry, life sciences, and mathematics. The 600s are the applied sciences. Books with numbers from 600 to 699 are books about applied sciences or technology, such as medical science, engineering, agriculture, and manufacturing. 700 through 799 fine arts. Those are books about the fine arts and recreation. 
books about painting, sculpture, music and dance, sports, and photography. From 800 to 899 is the class called literature, such as poetry, drama, rhetoric, and composition. The 900s are books about history, geography, and travel. Each class is subdivided into smaller classes or subclasses. For instance, the 600s are divided into more specific subjects, such as engineering, applied physics, and applied optics. And this is the same for all the 10 main classes. Victory lies within the system that divides all that is into 10. I found a hole, an opening in their magnetic shield. Can you determine the radius of the hole? Apparently, the area is quite small, but these directed signals can get through. Attempt to transmit a message to Aphos and Varian. Use the secret numerical code so that it will not be intercepted. What shall I tell them? Inquire how and where they are. Tell them about the magnetic dome. Try again, Pixel. The transmitter base is destroyed. Thank you, Tesla, for finding that hole in the magnetic shield, but especially for letting us know that there are users outside your cozy little base we didn't know about. We'll start looking for them right away. My men love a good cat and mouse game. Don't you, fair eye? <laughs> Maybe it was just a wiper trick. No, that's impossible. They cannot know the numerical code. It is programmed into user head rings, and only we can decipher it. That's true, Father. I guess one of our technicians found a momentary break in the shield. And the wipers found it, too. That means I must leave this position at once. Please, Father, try to reach us as soon as you can. I will. The base is helpless under the magnetic dome. The wipers are looking for us. We need to find all the books the wizard mentioned as soon as we can. We have to learn what his words mean. Maybe Miss Bookhart can help us. Let's go find her. OK, you need to find one book together to make sure you understand the system. That will save time later. What was the 600 number? 621.366 over C. 600s, that's applied science and technology. Let's check the labels at the end of the shelves. Here's 612 through 657. Then 621.366 over C must be on this shelf. Here are the 621s. Radar, radios. Wait. 621.366 over C. This must be it. Lasers. Come on, Varian. Let's go. A book entitled Lasers. What were the wizard's words? Lasers entwines the sign it sends. I still don't understand. Let us find the remaining books. Maybe when we fit all the pieces together, the puzzle will make sense. If we split up, we can find the books more quickly. Good thinking, Abacus. We'll each find two. Abacus, you find the first two. LIDAR. Mike, it seems that the signals were coming from about right here. So if we go, like, in this direction, then you don't have the brains of a blister beetle. You've got the map upside down. Don't you even know how to read a map, you pyroplankton? Well, well, boss, we know they're somewhere in the area of the evacuated settlement. So what are you all doing around here? Waiting for Santa Claus? Get out there and find those users! Here it is, 551.576 over S. I think I'm beginning to see the wisdom of this ordering system. All knowledge is divided into ten main classes or subjects. Each book is given a number which corresponds to the main class of knowledge it is about. 
A science book would get a number in the 500s, an art book would get a number in the 700s, and so forth, so that all the books on the same subject are together on the shelves. Let's go back over the clue. Maybe it will make more sense now that we have the books. From 0 to 99 is the class of general works. The encyclopedia is the book I found there. From 100 to 199 is the class called Philosophy. The book of talismans, amulets, and zodiacal gems was there. 200's our religion. I found Bullfinch's mythology in that class. In social science, the 300 was our city sewers. The class devoted to languages is the 400. I found the book of ancient Wiper language. In the pure science section, the 500s, I found clouds of the world. Applied science, the 600s, is where we found the book on lasers. This holography handbook was in the 700s, the fine arts class, under photography. And the complete works of William Shakespeare was in the 800s, the class known as literature. Then the history books on the wipers were in the 900s, the history and geography class. There is still no clear meaning. What next? We have to research. We have to read these books carefully, looking for meaning to the wizard's words. We have to search for the information we need in each book and take notes. Somewhere's the answer to it all. And the key to helping the people at your base. And your father. If only father were here to help us.